Hey everyone, okay, I know it's been a long time since I last posted, long time no see basically, it's just been some very busy holidays, you know how the holidays are, but I said that I will do top 5 creature roleplay games and I'm not letting you guys down, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, at number 5 we have Dragon's Life as a creature roleplay game. In 5th place basically we have Dragon's Life, a open world roleplay game where you can customize, fly and explore. You can, you can save dragon slots and edit them to your heart's content with many different editable options. With many edit options it's really fun to keep editing. You can edit anything from the eyes to the entire wings of the dragon. The only reason it's placed 5th place are that the player is a bit solitary, meaning the roleplays aren't that good. Number 4 is Griffin's Destiny. Griffin's Destiny is another very cool roleplay game. With a giant map and cool players, I can see why people enjoy playing this game. Here you can get open crates to get specific accessories and body parts. Basically like this. You waste some coins and then get a crate. Then you can customize your creature to your heart's content. As much as you want and as long as you want. When you don't like something you can adjust it. That's it for Griffin's Destiny. Next in third place is Warrior Cats Roleplay. Another ro cool roleplay game being Warrior Cats Roleplay. I really like it. but. Here you can choose to be in a clan or to be a free roamer. This one isn't my favorite because most people in the role plays god mode. Basically they see themselves higher and more important than other people. It's still a good game to try out though. In second place we have Feather Family. Feather Family is a bird nostalgia inducing game because it brings back so many memories and here you can explore so many OG looking biomes. You can also choose from many birds being the jay, peafowl, macaw, penguin, emu, hornbill and many more to come. Let's go purchase one shall we? I'm gonna ta uh, take the owl. Here you can make nests and raise chicks. It's a pretty cool game to play and try out with your friends. And in first place we have Monsters of Etheria. It's basically Pokemon and Roblox. It has very different Etherians you can get. Like around a hundred of them if I'm not wrong counting the evolutions. Or mutations as they're called. Each Etherian has a bunch of skins you can collect by buying them with credits aka coins. In this game, you can also find items similar to Pokemon, and these items do special things. That depends on the item, but you, most Ethereans are also able to evolve. Sometimes they evolve two times, and sometimes one. Basically, it's Pokemon and Roblox. The only difference is that sometimes the other Pokemon are people, and not just NPCs. Well, that's it for today. See y'all next time. And as well as Happy New Year, I wish you all the best for 2024.